Hello, and welcome to this brushed episode of the Black Mind Podcast. Um, stuff. Joining me as always is Josh. Yep, it's so rushed that I'm still organizing my Magic the Gathering card collection right now. It's very rushed. We're very we're rushed. Very... Like, I am still going through all the commons I have, and fuck these commons! Um, okay, so we're not talking about that. Nobody nobody really changed the topic list from last week. Yeah, no, we need to get a, chan- we need a chance to, because here we're all so rushed. Yep, we're, we're... we're so rushed. So, I don't know. I have one topic. Actually, no, I have two topics. Uh, well, we have the concert we went to. We can talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. That, that was my first concert. concert. Uh, you, that was yeah, your, that's my that second was your concert. first concert? Well, like, I've gone to bars and stuff like that and listened to people, but like I've, that was my first actual concert at a hall. I, I Well, technically, that's the, fir- that's the f- fifth concert I've gone to. Um, but, it's at, and, but, it's at, and but it's actually like my 30th concert I've been to. I was gonna say it's like your fifth concert you've been to, but like the fifth time or the fourth time you saw Sa- uh, Saboteur at no, a no, concert. No, 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 Sabaton, by the way. <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, I worked at Rexall Stadium. Right, so right. I, I actually went to concerts there <laughs> and worked them, so I was paid to be there at Iron Maiden, and I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And what makes it really funny is uh, we uh, in between one of the sets between right before our Ma- Iron Maiden started, I had to go up to the main floor because they were closing alcohol before Iron Maiden goes on because they don't want to get people in. Sh- they don't want people getting fucking shit faced drunk during the during the main concert show. So like, so we're like, okay, so we go up top. We're pulling kegs off the floor. We're getting ready to shut everything down. And one guy comes up and he, like he looks at me. He goes. I'm going to take this keg. I'm like, no, you're not. He's like, I'm going to take this keg. And I'm like, no, you're not. He's like, are you why? Are you going to stop me? Some pu- uh, he looks, you're pretty small. And I just like point it over. It's like, you see that tall guy right there? He's like, yeah, that's one of our security officers. Oh, he's here for, he's here for the concert tonight, but he is under, he is under contract obligation that if he, that if he sees something going wrong here at the stadium, he will stop it. He's like, Oh, he's like, okay, thank you. Bye. And he just walked away. I'm like, and I just like snickered to myself. I'm like, <laughs> idiot. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know that that man is not, a, that not a concert hall worker. Oh, great. <laughs> I was going to say that's sly shit. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, hey, I, hey, uh, hey. Uh, no, go ahead. I, I mean, like I, so like, yeah, like this is my first concert. There was a lot of very fun, tense emotions going to the concert and stuff like that. Like not fun, tense emotions as like like anxiety or something bad going on. No fun, tense emotions like like going to Memory Express. I I still I still I still don't get why you did that right before the concert, like an hour before the concert doors open. I'm still just genuinely confused as fuck about that. Because you don't understand. Because you don't understand. Um, what was it on spur of the moment per- uh, purchasing? No. I I do understand that. So this um, was this was like <laughs> this was like a tradition for like three weeks or three for six weeks of just like constantly going to Memory Express. That's going to be another topic though. Oh, you, you had to wait for sure. Wait for the order in. No. Okay. Anyways, no, so I will freely admit this concert was fun. I didn't like the sound of Crater as much as I thought I might have. I. Yeah, the Crater was okay. Uh, the first band was okay. First band actually. Too first band actually sounded like punk rock and more than like metal. I was like, what the hell is this concert? I actually liked the first band a lot. Oh no, I I, liked I thought too. they were good. And then Creator came out, and it was like, generally, like, it was harder metal. It was more fantasy metal that I, I was kind of like, okay, was, yeah, fantasy metal. No, I'm that, expecting this. That was <laughs> like death. What was it? That's like death metal almost. It was. Is it? It was. Yeah. Well, I guess so. it was chaos in the mosh pit. It was 
good hard metal and stuff like that but it wasn't like something where i would sit there and say that like sorry sorry you want to know what actual genre they are what 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 are they trash metal oh so that explains it (laughs) okay i mean i'm not going to sit there and say that they were garbage but i'm going to sit there and say that like they were trash Uh, no they were (laughs) they weren't the best and I and they were they served a purpose of getting me pumped for Sabaton and stuff like that. But like compared and to Sab- and then Sabaton happened and I was like, I looked at my phone when they went on stage. I'm like, well, I'm not getting home till midnight tonight, I guess. And then you showed me the phone. and We're like, we're not getting home until midnight. I'm like, yes. And it was good. And I, I enjoyed it. And it was oh, amazing. I, it. I yep. sang every song again. At it Sabaton. Was, yeah, like that was awesome. Like, like cre- creator, creator. I heard some people singing to it, but the moment Sabaton got up on stage, no, like the people who, like the vast majority of the people that were there for Sabaton more than yeah, creator. And oh yeah, I love the fact that the almost the entire audience was singing along with them as as they uh, powered through the metal. It was it was beyond, like that was a really good concert. Like my only, like, my, only, my only complaint is um. I uh, I got fucked going for drinks between the the opening band and creator, mm. and this is a, this this is in a story of itself. So I look at Jeff and Josh, like, okay, I'm going to grab a drink, and I just go. This is at the end of the first band, and I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. And I walk around. The, the closest way for me to go, instead of going to the bar that was like pretty much behind us, I didn't want to go to that one because I know for the one by uh where I, the one that I wanted to go to, it also had it had like ice cold because i know for a fact that it's one that nobody goes to because that's upstairs i went to the one upstairs away uh up by like the door where at union hall so i walked up to I, I i'm walking around i'm making my way around and i see this like i'm getting pushing through the crowd of people i get up to the end and there's this big burly guy in a red shirt and i that reads security i was like uh-oh and i stopped and i looked and i'm like oh fuck they're moving band equipment through here damn it so i have i stand there for about 10 minutes waiting for them to get by and the, like this big business big burly guy with fucking dreadlocks he he's like he, he's like stay back stay back he's he I, I swear he's a fucking teddy bear he he like has no motivation to be violent so like it's like people the crowd is slowly pushing forward slowly pushing forward and he's just slowly backing up finally his like i want to say his boss walks over comes over everybody move back move back move back and i'm just like wow <laughs> i'm gonna move back now because you are be- big black and scary I mean, and, uh, I mean, and, so that happened to oh, me uh, right before Sabaton came on. Yeah, you you went through this. I, saw, I, 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 I was just looking in fear and like there's this guy and he looks like he's like he's like not amused. And there's a guy right behind me screaming about how he's going to piss his pants and stuff like that. It was it was fun. Um, oh. The best the best part was right before creator came on. I got elbowed in the back of the. In the, the actual back, no, elbowed in the back by some jackass trying to get to the mosh pit, and I was like, "Yep, yeah. oh yeah, that guy was a prick." It was like he like he forgot there's gonna be a mosh pit. It's like, "Oh fuck, I gotta go!" Oh. I'm gonna elbow you it's in like, the back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, that guy they, was they like, were, what "The fuck, bro!" Yeah, I got, I, 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 what, what makes it all the more funny is the, uh, when that happened. I had just finished my drink, walked over, walked over to the trash can, threw it away, walked back over, and I just stopped moving when he hit me. Yeah. Because I, I had stopped. I'm like, okay, let's hear this. <laughs> that, that, that defines that defines that creator performance to me. It's like like a bunch of chaos and craziness, and then like that dude elbowing in the back back, and that that's fine. Like I, I heard the music somebody, was okay. I heard somebody comment that creator is at, like the, the 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 singer for creator. Mm-hmm. He, like I made the comments like he's such a showman and I'm like standing there like watching him like perform and I'm like if he's a showman then fucking uh, uh, Sabaton's lead singer is a fucking god among showmen because he talks to the crowd yeah he, yeah. he that, that, that guy that was, that was such a huge tra- like a glaring difference because I like because when I last went I, I they had two bands beforehand which I kind of st- I've, I've started listening to and I actually generally like the sound of them um, but they they didn't talk to the bands that much because they're like, well, we're the opening acts. We understand that, so we're gonna get our songs through. We're gonna like we're gonna like get you guys pumped. We're, we are the opening acts. But since this was two big bands, being Creator and Sabaton, it was it, it like it was really interesting. 
But the thing was that really like confused me about this above all else about Creator is like when people are like, yeah, he, he's a really good singer. I'm like listening to him. I'm like, he only has like one tone. It was yeah. yeah it's not not any pitch or anything. Just for most of yeah. it. It's like, it's, it's, that's, that's not a bad thing though. Like I, I understand that trash metal, like trash, thrash metal. Sorry, thrash. Holy cow! I'm saying it wrong. I'm tired. <laughs> Fuck off. Alan, how tired are you? I went to bed at two in the morning. And got up at eight. Yeah, I kind of had that same schedule today. <laughs> Forget to not want to get up. No, I got I got up at eight. I had to take my nephew to hockey, so I took my nephew to hockey. Got home, got showered, went out for a movie. I saw Black Panther today. We're gonna talk about that real quick. Is I'm it not bad? gonna talk about. It's it's good. That's how I'm gonna leave it at as. And then I had. Yeah, well, and now I have two. Yes. I have I had two D D campaigns tonight, and I'm just like, oh, I want to go to bed. I don't even want to do Rory's campaign tonight now. But that's beside the point. But no, the, the thing that really I loved about this concert though was uh was walking up. I just, Jeff's like I'm here. I like looked around when I walked up. Like I when Jeff sent the text, I, I'm in line. I had just parked. And I went. Yeah. I ran into Subway to go to go use the washroom. There was a line at Subway from the people waiting outside from the line outside for the mm -hmm. for the concert using the washroom. I'm like, wow, okay. So I just waited in line. Got went to the washroom, came out, and I looked around. Like I just walked out to the middle of the road, looked around, saw Josh Wa uh, Jeff waves. I walked up, and two and like five minutes later, we were in the doors. I'm like, this is going way faster than last time. Because they were actually what they were doing was they were taking your ID, scanning it, hanging it back to you. Once you got approved, you walked in instead of doing what they did last time, which was take your ID, scan it, um, and then take your ticket and scan your ticket, which slows down the process all the more. Yeah, the, I forget what they did last time, but it was it's kind of it was a lot faster for this one. And the funny thing was, there's two entrances into that building. We, the second entrance that I went through was the through the up, you, guy scans it at the door, and you have to walk upstairs to the second level. Yep, that, and that, the guy at the top that's level. That's the same way we went through. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I didn't realize there was even a second entrance until it was like I uh, got to walk down the stairs. It's like, oh, there's another entrance. People were scanning. There's just two doors. So I was like, that's clever. Last time, last like, time I was there, they hadn't, they didn't open the front door because I don't know why. Dumb reasons. Because, because reasons. Because reasons. I'm just, I'm just glad I didn't get thrown out. Why is that? <laughs> because I had an up-to-date license. Yeah, yeah. Because last time I tried, I had an extra uh, concert ticket. Oh yeah. And I was like, Jeff, let's go. Yeah, let's go to this concert. And he's like, Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't know them, but whatever. I'll go to my first concert. And he couldn't get in because his fucking ticket, his thing expired. And I was like, Fucking god damn this it. This is such a Jeff problem. I mean, t the kicker was the original friend I meant to bring with me. His ex ID expired at the same time. So I was like, Well, no one's gonna have this ticket. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah. My my entire opinion on this matter is that like you know when so like we're we're getting stuck on like like semantics and stuff like that but like let's talk about the actual performance and stuff like that. Opening band yeah. opening band was opening band was fun. Opening band was fun. Good. More punky. Yeah. Not not that worst and stuff like that. They, I would have thought they're I thought they're like prog metal, but I didn't think they're punky. They were they were very prog. I thought they were a little punky, but they were good. Um, I will say the earplugs really did help me enjoy it because as soon as like they started playing, I just turned to Josh and like, yeah, earplugs, please. Yeah, you're lucky I, I crammed like two more earplugs in that little packet I had because I was I was like, well, I'll bring it two for myself. I want to need to bring more. And I'm like, I probably should just in case, you know. And yeah, because like the last time I went to a show, it was like I can still hear the music, but you could feel the vibrations on your body and chest. And it's like, you know, it was a good thing I have these earphones in. Yeah, it was it was. And, and then. And another thing is like we have a job, we're having job, gonna have jobs as game designers and like music people and shit like that. It's like we need hearing at the end of the yeah, day. So of. yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so yeah, like bringing earphones is very crucial. I will sit there and say this is that like it, it allowed me to enjoy the music more because I could actually pick up on the sound signature. 
Oh yeah. yeah. I didn't have that much problem with that actually. But then again, I lost my headphones after like went crazy <laughs> on stage. You went you went for beer, you pat them in your hands, and you're like, I'm gonna go get beer, you just lost them. Yeah. Like just immediately. I, I, I don't know where they went. <laughs> like I remember putting them in my pocket and I made sure to put them in my pocket that didn't have um like in my pocket that, I, the that had the, my money in it, I just don't know where they went. I legit, like I was like, it's so see, that's the thing. That's the thing I was gonna say. Did you put it in the same pocket with your money? Because you were like, I'll put it in this pocket. I'll make sure they're not gonna get out of the way or anything like that. And you pull your money. As soon as you pull your money, it's all gone. Everything's out. <laughs> You're not gonna have shit in there. Well, I had mine. Just, I, I had mine as like just folded bills in my pocket. That's all I had. Oh, that's what it was. Because usually, even though you're like, I'm pretty sure this is separated, it's gonna fall out. That's that's my that's my lesson I learned a long time ago. I was like, oh yeah, let me pull some cash. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways. Um. Uh, well, like, cre okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I creator sounded good. And they, I will say this. They sounded good. They but, sounded but, but, the, good. but they they're banned. Their sound was just like their sound was on point. Okay, what I mean is their sound was on point. They didn't, but they don't sound like a very good band. When, well, here here's the definition for me is like I was watching the mosh pit, and the chaos that was ensuing in the mosh pit was amazing and crazy. Yeah, especially the wall the wall of death thing they had yeah, going. And then their whole entire idea of like we're just going to like let the mosh go crazy and everyone scream and like it got to the point where my vocal cords hurt. <laughs> yeah. And Josh was sitting there doing the smart thing and just not screaming. And <laughs> I, I really I didn't see like, Josh do anything. He leaned Josh on a bar. His head. He, he, no, no, I didn't even see Josh do that. Whenever I looked at Josh, I seen Josh lean on a bar, stand there, and watch the concert. And then he leaned over to me at uh, he he leaned over just gently to me at one point. He's like, "My feet are starting to hurt." I was like, "You haven't been doing anything." <laughs> He's just been standing there. The best. The, yeah. Uh, well. The dumb thing about my feet or at least <laughs> i'm fat and lazy so my feet are gonna hurt no matter what i'm doing my my funny the funniest thing about that entire fiasco was when sabaton started playing and stuff like that like it felt good and stuff like that and it was really memorable and then the mosh pit was like everyone was like yeah everything's good and then we're sitting there watching, like, we're sitting there being like, yay! We should yeah. hey, if Charlie. Everything's fine. Next, 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 to, next to, to be I, fair, I will, I will try and convince, like, Rory and them to go next time. I mean, all you really yeah. need to do is just, is just say you all suck if you don't come. <laughs> I'm kind of hope. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that we're gonna have. Uh, I kind of hope that they come back here like real, 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 real soon. Because like, mm -hmm. man, and how? for let's just see for the majority of that concert, like I kind of knew the bands, but I never really listened to their music. And I didn't say I was bored, but it was like, eh. <laughs> I like at the same time, uh, uh, I don't know. I like for the most like the first like it's, all the bands were very good. Uh, it's just I've I don't, I don't know. That's the reason why I wasn't doing anything because it was like uh, I guess it's, I more or less my first hearing of the of the, the the bands. So I was like I'll just enjoy it and not <laughs> not move around. I yeah I I just think that like you know it w it was a special experience to me and I think I I feel very glad I would to be a part of it. The last two or two for Sabaton. Yeah, or 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 in quotations, I guess. I'm not sure if that is their last. It tour. might be. I don't think it will be, because you know how bands are. They're like, oh, it's our last tour, and then when they're 90, they're like, it's our last tour because everyone will die next year. No, I think my favorite. <laughs> no, I think my favorite thing about Sabaton. I, I know, I know, they say this to every group that they ever like call or whatever wherever they perform that it's like i know it's a fucking lie that like it's like yeah you're the loudest audience that we've ever had you're the greatest audience we've ever had da, 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 da. i love that i really do love that that they say that to, and they probably do say it at every concert but the thing that makes me giggle at it is like even though they probably say that at every concert 
uh, my, my, uh, my, um, my thing, my thing in the back of the head is you said it to everyone, but you know what? I don't care. I love the fact that you're saying that to us right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It, it, it's, it's more along the lines of like, you're sitting there listening to them say that. And you're like, is that, are they honest? Are they being honest? They're probably not being honest. Just, just give the crowd what, give the crowd the easy cookies they need. Yeah. That is the thing that we need. It's like saying it's like saying the line, "How's it going, Blank City?" Woo! Woo. I can't hear you, Blank City. What's how's it going? Woo! Yeah, that, that type of shit. In other news, because yeah. well, we, yeah, we have to move on. <laughs> no, we could just talk about the concert all night. We could, probably could <laughs> all day. We probably could all day. We probably could. Probably could. I, I, I we, 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 we were kind of joking about that, but at the same time, we're like, no, no, we probably actually could. It, it was, it was the probably like this was like probably the most company ass thing that we have done as a, as a group of people. Yep. It's just hanging out and stuff like that. Oh, don't worry. When we get bigger as a company, we'll hire the the band that the did soundtrack for our video game and no. we'll be like full concert of these guys. No. Oh, <laughs> Jeff is like no, Save no, my sanity, no, Josh, no. <sighs> oh come on, it, it, so it, would, it would be it would be more like it would be more like me going up to Josh, being like, "You're in charge of this, motherfucker," and then watching Josh shrivel into like a a ball of like fire and disgust as he like after like a week and be like, "Like by the way, Josh, if this concert isn't good, you're fired." <laughs> I would be joking, but I don't know if your psyche would understand that. Uh, it probably would, but at the same time, you're like, I gotta fucking make this good. I gotta make this good, and then I just don't show up. And I record it and, 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 and put on DVD. And, and then what happens is like, it's like I look at the the concert sales like the next day, and I'm like. Well, Josh, I got good news for you. Your concert made us money. The bad news is we're never doing yeah. it again because your psyche is now completely strung out and you're in the hospital like Eddie. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Although um, I, you'd be like, hey, the good news that made us money. And I'm and also I have the quote of and I saved the uh, rec center, too. Woo! Oh, yeah. And then I'm like, good thing he's in the fucking mental institution right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he said. It's just gun drops and if we put the mind checking thing. Okay, moving on. I went to Memory Express, guys. Hunting for the white whale. Set and you spent a bunch of money. Hunting for the white whale. It was glorious. Waste a waste of money. <laughs> this this is this is all being edited out. Hunting for the white whale. The 1080 Ti, and I walked out there with the 1080, like a bitch, and feeling very small and insignificant of myself. And I feel like I let myself I, down, but I'm I did. Okay I did. With this. I did, Alan. Um, I know you're very disappointed in me as a friend. I don't, I, I don't care. And, I'm still little, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a little frustrated that you bought it right before a concert. And Josh, I know that you're sad about my. Computer not being the most epic computer on the planet. And it, a little and bit, because uh, finding a uh, so finding the card in general is just retarded hard for no reason. But um, but we have to be strong here. We have to be strong. For my sake, I bought a 1080. Feel okay about it. Not really though. Very upset. So you enjoying the 1080? I, I, I already installed it, and then I haven't even played game on it yet because um, I'm a I'm a I'm, I'm a little bitch. I'm I'm going to probably play some Overwatch after this. You you played Minecraft instead? Yes. More likely, I just booted up Maya and started doing work on stuff because. You're like, I think it's faster. I think, I think it's faster. It's running all right. I guess it's okay. <laughs> I, I can feel the gigabits going through I this. I can feel it. It's running a lot faster. Hmm. Exactly. Strong with the force this one is. Hmm. Strong with the force. This graphics card is very powerful. Hmm. 
my friend Richard, I got this before a concert. <laughs> Funny story. I was like, literally, I got home, dumped it, told my parents. My parents were like, I was like, so I was responsible. And they were like, no, no, you weren't. No, no, you weren't, Jeff. No, God damn it, Jeff. And it's like, it's like, I was being responsible. I bought the lower of the two. And then my dad goes, they have the higher one in stock. And I was like, no. And he's like, you were not being responsible. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was very sad and disappointed. You know what? It was like I was going to spend the money regardless because it's like if if I didn't have them, if they didn't have one there, I was just going to buy a camera. Mm, because for the concert. yeah, they would totally let me in with that. No, they I was would have. They would have. Yeah, they would have. Um, but um, that's probably two pad checks down the line now because i'm not working a lot whatever but uh yeah i bought a 1080 ti i am very or 1080 i'm excited i got it to rgb fi which is funny because sometimes the colors match up and it looks good in my case it looks matches my motherboard very nicely um the cool thing about this card is that it has a literal like G, P, and M underneath. That represents like the core temperatures and stuff like that. So the most important things. And it has two fans on it, which is cool. I wanted one with three, but in looking in this case, I don't think it would have fit unless I had removed a hard drive and replaced it with an SSD, which will happen. I'm going to do that eventually. And why two oh. SSDs oh, no. that RGB? I was gonna say, it's gonna say, oh no, I can't fit this in my computer. The only way to do it is to upgrade even more. Oh no! no. <laughs> I have to now remove my CD drive and replace it with an RGB SSD. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh, <laughs> Just replace no. that with like um. Joe Joseph Joe stars going. That's what that's oh, what I was trying no. to do there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly. No. But it's more sarcastic than that. Josh is like totally upset right now. Sure. Totally. I'm I'm super upset. In other news. <laughs> anything you guys want to talk about? Uh I w I went to um I went to I saw uh, Black Panther today. Why was that? <laughs> Was it was it the best movie starring a black person no, as the? No, it wasn't. That still goes to that still goes to Blade for me. Was it the best movie with a primary black cast? No, no, no. That goes to um. What movie um, is? It? He can't name it. He can't. Uh, Seven Years of Slavery, I think it's called. Oh. Uh, that counts. I think that yeah, does. Yeah, well, okay, okay, the reason why I... Like, 12 I, I, Years of Slave. Yeah, 12 Years of Slavery. I haven't seen that movie. I think I should. No, um, the, th the thing that really bothers me about this movie is, like, I'm watching there, and, like, Rory's like, it's an okay movie. I'm like, no, no, it's an okay movie. Um, I, We both agreed that the villain was, like, the best of, like, the like the opening cast villains that we've ever seen for, like, an uh, origin story villain. Because War Machine, or... Uh, yeah, War, War Machine, or what was his name? Uh, War Iron, Machine? I, I, Ironmonger wasn't that good of a villain. Red Skull was just missed opportunities everywhere. <laughs> um, Hulk didn't have a main villain in the first movie. Like, like, it was his dad, but, like, it was done so poorly. It was just, yeah. Um... <laughs> uh, like, Thor, Thor had Loki, but it was so poorly done again and like this is by far the best open, like origin story villain that we've had so far and i like i really do like how it was set up mm. but my complaints about the movie were there was well, there wasn't enough combat like it, it didn't feel like a superhero movie and i i, I can't uh, for me the best su black superhero v movie that ever came out is the blade trilogy because like damn right it's just great it's got some wonky stuff going on it sure i'll agree there but like the entire topic of like blade being a day walker and stuff like that and i'm like yo what the fuck bro and i, I loved i loved the tv series about it too which was just good 
And this was true vampires before Twilight ruined everything. I but um so here's my response and this is what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. I love Blade. Blade is one of my favorite movies. I think it's a movie that you can show most people nowadays and they go like, "Oh yeah, this is a good movie. This is a good movie." But Blade Blade trilogy I, has some problems. No, no, I agree. I, I, again, the Blade, tri- yeah. the Blade trilogy is like it's a fun trilogy, but that's the point of that series is, is it wasn't super serious. It, it was meant to be fun superhero with vampires. That, that's all that was. Yeah, and 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 the, the thing that like angers me and stuff like that is we have to clarify this because somebody's some people might get mad is that the main the mainstream media really forgot about that movie. Those movies in particular, I feel it's like it's like it's like, oh, like this is Black Panther. It's the first black superhero in the Marvel Universe. And it's like, what, what about Blade? What? No, 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 what about Blade? no, 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 not even that. What about uh, um, Iron Patriot? What about um, Hawk? Hawkeye, not like Hawkeye. Um, no, the Hawk, like Hawk. Hawkman, Hawkman. Our, Oh, Falcon. Falcon. Sorry, Falcon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like there is like a whole bunch of other things. The media is like, we're gonna cherry pick what we want. And it's like, man, eh. it's just like it's just upsetting because it's like the reason why it deserves praise is because it's the first major Hollywood blockbuster, not an Oscar cat, not an Oscar bait film. No, 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 no. I, I still disagree with that statement because I still consider Twelve Years of Slavery. Or twelve years of service, or whatever. Well, I can't remember the name of it. I still consider years that like slave. a blockbuster because it did do well in office. And I think that that movie. Well, I think that that movie itself is like one of the best movies of all time, by yeah. far. And I think that like it's very unfair to compare a superhero movie to this thing. But the thing I'm going to sit here and say is that let's look at Rotten Tomatoes. I no, we're not uh, going to talk about Rotten Tomatoes. Let's look at no, ninety-seven. Say, could I add? <laughs> I no. Could, could I add that Twitter was blowing up with people from Uganda and like Africa, like practically going to the movie theater in a party mode. <laughs> like there's videos upon videos of people in like freaking Africa are like, "Woo, Black Panther! It's a good movie!" And it's like legit party mode in the fucking theater. Because I think that no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, uh, before Je- Jeff, before you go. So, I, I found, I got to the theater. I leaned over to Rory and I was like, "So I'm happy I'm here, despite the fucking SGWs." And that that was the entire reason why I went today. Was just oh, to you bite people. See, like but the, th- the thing was is before I went, my dad made the comments like, "So why don't you just dr- dress up as Black Panther and go?" I'm like, "Dad, that's a beating way to happen." I mean, me going to the theater is already a be- beating way to happen, but that would be like me walking in and just getting pummeled by like a group of black people at that point. Um, but um, the, the really I, frustrating I thing I go to the is I go to the movie theater with my blue hat and colorful T-shirt and colorful shit and oh, they look at me like by, this kid's by the way we have to we we have some uh, we have some bullshit to talk about for um for no, the no 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 but, 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 to... okay. but uh, so we, i lean over to rory and i say so uh um at the end of the movie and he's just like <laughs> he's just like we hear we hear tachanka tachanka uh speak his dad speak for the first moment and i just lean over to rory and all i hear from him is, is he he giggles when i say this and all i just say is do you know the way and he just snickered and tried to keep himself composed for a minute and i'm like I, i'm not gonna lie the entire time every time i heard them spoke that's all I heard. That's all I ever heard. And I was just like, "Jeez, no, stop!" Oh, oh that's that's real I good. Mean, I, I, it's not. Again, I will say it, it's not a bad movie. It's it's a good movie. It's not. It's not ninety seven though. It's like a solid like eighty in my opinion at most. I I'm going to sit there and say this is I'm going to see that movie by myself because I enjoy seeing movies by myself. I do too. I I, I yeah yeah Josh. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, if I ever gonna go see a movie, it's probably gonna be myself. Yeah. 
and for seeing it. I don't. I can. Uh, I can think about it by myself and stuff like that, and and then talk about it and stuff like that in more better detail. The thing I'm going to sit here and say is that it's ridiculous to me that it's a 97 on Rotten Tomatoes. And I'm probably going to go to the Red Letter Media Review, and they're going to sit there and say, it's a B plus. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, uh, an- yeah. An- another thing that surprised me is... Um, and the, another thing... Is, uh, another thing that... I, no, no, I actually need to bring up the topic of, like, because we're going to talk about a little bit of pl- politics here for a second. Um, the thing was, is I seen pictures from a theater where Black Panther had just screened and a bunch of black people were standing up with their arms and fists raised up above their arms. I'm just like, Wakanda isn't a real place. Ethiopia was never conquered, but look at the shithole that it is. But we don't, <laughs> but we don't talk about history when we talk about like anything like that. I, I'm going to sit there and say that it's very, and I'm going to say this is that it's cool that this movie is made. It's cool that this movie exists. I'm going to disagree with you on the fact that like them raising their fists in the air is a bad idea. I'm going to say it's a good idea no, and stuff like no, 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 no. You you don't understand what I'm saying here. I the don't. The reason why I the reason why I don't like that and the, it's it's actually really distressing for me is it's not a full audience of black people. Uh, it's these like young uh, teen punks doing it. Oh, so they're also like so we have like black people raising their hands in the air and white people raising their hands in the air. No, 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 no. Young black teens. That's what they look like in those images. Young black teens. And they 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 they're so bought into the narrative that and that's the reason why they're doing it, is they're so bought into that narrative of well, everyone everyone's like you know, pressing you and stuff like that, that they, they see this movie and they see it as like a cry for revolution. I'm like, <gasps> no, I no you, d- no, you dumbass. <laughs> no, I am going to sit here and say this is I have no problem if somebody did that and stuff like that. My problem comes in the fact that like where it is, a political statement in order to not do your job and stuff like that. I have no problem if somebody did that in the movie theater where I'm going to go see it because I personally don't care at that point in time. It's like, Oh, it's a good movie and stuff like that. And then move on with my day. But the fact that we're so divided to that point where people view this as a rallying cry is disturbing to me and stuff like that. It just kind of this is kind of similar to way people viewed uh, Avatar, and the people got immediately depressed that the world of Avatar doesn't exist. <laughs> like this is the exact same scenario, but people going, "Yeah, revolution!" It's like, no, you retard! Like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, oh like, God! Oh, by the way, we all know about Black Hitler online, right? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> we all know that's a, that's a thing. No, this is a dude. I will send you like a video of somebody reviewing. This guy's talking to you after Josh. Like it, it's he's scary. Like you, you know how like Adolf Hitler sounds like when he's doing his rallying cries. Uh huh. That, but black <laughs> and okay, far, uh, and far more scary. Like legit. Jeez, whole oh, dude. Um, but the thing is, is um, uh, the the the, the, vil- the main villain in the movie is uh, essentially Black Hitler. He's somebody who believes in like, well, my people around the world need to be united under our banner. We must protect my our people. So very fascist dictatorship kind of thing. Mm. Mm. And he yeah, it's yeah. So is so is he doing the fascism knowing his fascism or is it just like, no, these goals are totally great and not realizing his fascism? No, he he, he understands that and he's just like the means justifies the the cause justifies the means. Yes, and he's like he's arguing like, yeah, we should arm our war dogs, and I'm like, oh, oh god. I, I just I would be so it'd be so hysterically funny if it was like someone just pointed out, you know, you're just no different than Hitler, you know, right? And, and if he's like, what do you mean? 
I'd be like, you're exactly like this other evil dude, but other skin. It makes no difference. And people wonder why I get <laughs> Just, scared when people sit there and say, say, we should kill all white people. Like, oh, God. The last time somebody did oh, that, it was very no. great. <laughs> okay, so like every time this argument show comes up of like, like, oh, we should kill blank race or kill blank race. It's like, no, kill everyone because we don't deserve it at all. That's a good point. <laughs> at some points in, in this society, we don't deserve it, and there's some points we do. It's confusing. A life is just, a, just kill everyone. Life. Just kill everyone. Life is a strange thing. I, I hope. Okay. This has been a very divisive topic and stuff like that. Well, yeah, we, we, that, but that's the thing is we're talking about a we're talking about a really incredibly politicized movie. Like I hate to break it, but this movie is nothing but politicized. I, what, I what, think... what, what makes it, what makes it all the worst for me is is like I I, I, I follow a YouTuber who who makes the joke of like the Das Yudin and like all, he makes all those like he he makes those jokes, but he like he's like meaning them in the most disingenuous ways possible, like. Like mm -hmm. no no this is a this is a joke he's he's giggling while he's saying it's like no no like this is a joke you can tell mm -hmm. but the thing that uh that the thing that made me that made makes me laugh is um or well that makes me really scared is when you see certain people talk in the streets about like kill blank kill blank you can tell with like a fervent belief they're like fanatics and that's the thing that scares me is like and it, and it, it like, like i don't want to use this i don't want to use them this group because i've used them so many times at this point to like disprove people's argument that like white supremacy is a thing but black lives matter being like essentially the new kkk because they're they, they have been they have, you have them on recording on several different occasions saying uh what do we want dead cops when do we want them now or pigs in a blanket uh, uh, and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh my word, these people actually believe that too. And that's why I'm really worried. I just, my, yeah. th my thing is, is that like, you would think that we have gone past this point and you would think that Martin Luther King's dream would be closer now than it was 40 years ago. I mean, things are still better, oh, and yeah. things are getting better. But it's just the internet helped make the people have, even the idiot people have voices, and that's the problem. No. Hold up, no, stop that. Yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's yes. all the internet's stop. fault. Stop. It's all the internet's stop. fault. Cease and desist. <laughs> that is a dangerous road that you do not understand how it, how it can go completely out of control. I mean, but look at how so many dumb people there are. There's so many of them, and there's convincing other dumb people that it's legit. Uh, uh, like there's so much of it. That is how free. That is how free speech works. You are allowed to make your opinions known. Oh, it, if anything, just furthers <sighs> prove my point of there should be critical thinking classes in schools. Yes. Uh, I can actually respond with that critical thinking is dead in university, so I don't think that's ever coming back. No, it's not. Like, no, it is. I, no, no, it no, is. It's, no, 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 no. I mean, no, no, it's not dead, but it's it's dead enough to the point. It's it's been kicked the shit out of to the point of where if we don't do anything at this point in time, like like basically critical thinking needs to revolve around thinking about history. And yeah, understanding uh, well, that to convince people, you need to fucking, like, be a good debater. I'm not a good debater, yet I destroy those people on a semi-regular basis. It's pretty fucking easy. Yep. And, like, I don't oh, consider me. myself a good debater. I'm actually quite garbage at debating people. But, like... Yeah. No, I, like, that's the thing. It's, yeah. But, like, these people are so easy to sit there and just destroy because all you sit there and do is you just say, say, you're wrong. This is how you're wrong. This movie is not a political statement. It's based in fiction. Here's how it's based in fiction. You show them the medium. And then they sit there and go, like, well, you're racist. And then you go, how am I racist? Please explain. <laughs> I've, I've asked that a lot. Uh, I've, I, yeah, no, I've asked that a lot of times, too. Like, as, I, as I've said on this podcast, I've been called a Nazi, I think, once now twice and like it like it with like full-on intention like no you're, you're a nazi i'm like no i'm not I, I i'm very much like i and like i actually have to like i have to agree with some people who say like well i don't agree with sargon doing the liberalist movement but i'm like no no i can understand why sargon's trying to push forward for that label because like we're tired i don't want to be constantly called a uh um 
and anti-feminist or a skeptic because those are reactionary stances and that's not a good thing if you're a, if you're like trying to defend like certain like rights and morals you need to take a point like you need to look at your position and go I'm a I'm a liberal and I'm a liberalist and that's all you say you look them straight in the eye you do that and you just and these are my stances this is what I believe and it can like bring down conversations but at the same time you need to be ready to debate like I've I, I, I myself am a conservative. Like, I, I will say that now. I'm probably con- more of a conservative because I'm very much like – You've been forced to, to that side. No. Uh, well, that's the thing is back before I voted NDP, I was always conservative. But the conservative party for here in Alberta and and the Canada at large, I didn't like them at the time because I was like they're very condescending. They were very – like. You're the reason. Uh, everything's the reason why everything's wrong is because um, you guys didn't work hard enough. You guys didn't do put in the effort to like make sure like Canada or Alberta work great. I'm just like, nope. I'm gonna cast my vote somewhere else. And what made it really funny is when I looked at the Liberal Party, I looked at the Liberal Party and I was like, I don't like Justin Trudeau. I cannot put my vote into that. So I put my vote into the NDP. And I know that was a throwaway vote. Like I knew the NDP weren't gonna win here in Alberta during the federal election. But when they won during the uh, provincial election, which surprised the ever-loving hell out of me. And they're still you know, more confident than Justin Trudeau. And that's saying what? something because our political leader right now is saying that we should boycott what BC White. Well, OK. Well, the thing is, is like Notley is trying to actually like get like deals to like improve the economy here in Ca- in Alberta. Yeah. And, and BC is just ra- uh, it's like ramrodding us hard and like like stonewalling us like nonstop. And we're like, OK, no, if you're going to start doing this, we will just start punishing you because no. Jesus Christ, we want to get like a sub- we want to get this money flowing again so we can actually diversify our economy. And they're just not letting us do it. Notley right now is looking down a gun barrel and seeing that she might lose, I feel. And this is this no, no. is actual like well no oh, what no, I mean no, no, by no, that I, 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 no 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 I think I know what you mean by that is I think you mean for like next election right yes and what I mean yes, by no, that I, is that I agree and what I mean I by that is back next time. she is there is there are hints of where she goes like social justice look at her schooling ideas and stuff like that there was a controversy right when the fucking election started or after the election ended where one of her MLAs did something so fucking stupid that like literally I was sitting there going I'm glad I didn't vote NDP good job I voted liberal good for me yeah like life's good yeah the well, reason okay. the reason she got in was because the conservative party was a bunch of fucking idiots Oh yeah, no. Like what, what, what that makes, cannot what makes be all... said enough. But like, like, that's the thing is, like, the moment I heard, it's like, well, it's Albert, it's your Albertan's fault. I heard that, and I'm like, nope, not voting for you guys anymore, or at least not for this election. Like, uh, I'm not voting for Notley next election. I can say that, like, adamantly that I'm not doing it. Like, my um, thing is that Notley is. There are things that Notley does that are well. She has tried to diversify the economy. She has tried to push game funding, which has succeeded. She has done things that I can sit there and objectively point to and say that they've been not well managed. But the idea is there and it's a concrete thing. And I just think that, you know, given a few more years, years of the oil times going, it would have been a fine thing because she could have taken that money. But, but the economy isn't there. Right now, it's not. And that's the, economy the thing. Isn't is, there. The economy isn't there. Her her cabinet her or her, her party are full of incompetent morons. It, it, um, it's, it's a case of where she is being destroyed by her own party. Yep. Whereas if this was the Liberal Party, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We would be having our conversation about how not, good Notley has been for the economy, how good Notley has been for our province and how good notley and how the province isn't in debt as much debt it's in debt but it's not in that much debt it's in a little bit of debt you know guys you you know we can get out of this in like five ten years now we're in like no like right now alberta and this is getting like province centric canada centric talking surprise we're canadians fuck off but the country of canada is in a massive amount of debt like to the point where it doesn't make sense 
And the, the province of Alberta, in particular, is also in a massive amount of debt. So when Notley sits there and says, says, we're boycotting BC wine because of these reasons, it reads to me as like she is seeing the writing on the wall of like, there is an unsustainable amount of debt that will probably be called on in the next four years that will devastate Alberta's economy, that will cause everyone in this province to either fail ethically or just destroy the province. Yep. And Justin Trudeau, I am sorry to say, will probably be elected out of the cab, will probably either not have a minority, have a minority government, which will be a good thing for the province of, of Alberta in particular, or be voted out and replaced with a conservative. Yeah. Let that, let that sink in for a bit. The reason the Conservative Party lost the last election wasn't because of Harper being incompetent. It was because there was like Justin Trudeau was the only choice. No, it was because Justin Trudeau had a personality. No, no, it's not even that. It's like Harper was on his way out. Like everybody knew Harper was on his way out. He like he what we all knew he wasn't getting another election. And then you look at the NDP like member and you're like, well, he's not all that great either. And you look at Justin Trudeau and you're like, well, he's got Trudeau. So we'll give him a shot. And that is like the biggest mistake we've ever made. But hey, I don't think it was the worst mistake we ever made. We still probably have a few worse prime ministers in us. Um, uh, and, and I don't know. Say the real crime. The real crime is everyone looked over the Green Party. Like, come on, Elizabeth May, who should be prime minister. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. I don't know that. I, I, I. Mm. She would have been <laughs> ten times better than Trudeau, and you know it. <laughs> yeah, who, who wouldn't have been better than Trudeau? Um, Me. Harper. Uh, Harper see, would have been Har- more of the same. Harper actually, the problem with Harper that what happened with Harper is Harper got a majority government. Yes, he was fine and, up until that point. The problem with Trudeau is he has a majority government. Notice the either. theme. Yeah. Surprise. Notice the theme. It's almost as if majority governments don't work. Hmm. It's not that they don't work. It's that it's that party solidarity is a thing. It's almost as if that if uh, we actually made it like a point in saying that like parties should vote for the constituents, not for the party. That should say something like I was very much very keen. I was very happy when Brent, when the San Albert MLA decided to leave the conservative party. No, uh, I, I, how I see how I think the federal election should be is you vote you, you're voting for your constituent in your in your division and all stuff and all this stuff mm-hmm. but um um but the thing is is that a party solidarity shouldn't be a thing it should be well what do you consider the best transaction for your division for your voting block mm-hmm. well okay i'm gonna listen to my uh, i'm gonna open up phone calls and this and listen to what they have to say and mm-hmm. that's what they did and that's what people have done in like nova scotia and like out in like new brunswick where like they're, they're small mlps because they don't have a huge population but like they've always like they're constantly like talking with their nlps but you can like come out to like ontario and alberta and bc nobody talks to nobody talks to the mlp mlas why should they or mlps whatever you want to call them Mm. And, and that's the problem is like nobody actually wants to talk to their 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 um party members for their voting block yeah i i try to i really do i but the thing is is like i don't pay attention much to like things that are going on in the like overall like political sphere of federalism the federal part the federal government because i know for a fact the current that the federal government is just just grievously incompetent as of like the past like four five generations of like federal governments but um, then again i'm also like a very pragmatic man who like looks at the situation and goes like nope this i'm not gonna lie when that school shooting happened this week and we're gonna talk real quick about that um can we just talk about darling and the fox who what darling and the fox it's an anime it's okay. People should watch it. It has butt control. Um, you pilot girls. 
it's literally the f feminist fear as an anime where literally you pilot girls girls are an object that you pilot it's okay uh okay you're gonna like me that in a minute because i want to look it, at that video it's okay basically the main character is like stuck to has to pilot a girl because she's so powerful that he can only pilot with her and physical <laughs> problems happen like this girl basically <laughs> kills people oh because she's too fucking powerful so no, that, that's not good at all no it's not but you know what like it's it's okay it's okay um josh you want to talk about something very quickly He's like josh big. No, no. no. Okay. <laughs> School shooting. I, I, we, we, we need to talk about that real quick. Fuck um, again, everything. Again, me being, and a, uh, again, me being a very pragmatic man, I actually like I know people who live in Florida, and I talk to them on a fairly regular basis. And it's, like a lot of them, like a lot of them actually popped on like a few hours like before I went to bed, like around like nine o'clock our time. They popped on and like okay, and everybody was like, "Are you okay?" Da, 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 da. And they were like, "Yeah, confirming." I'm like, and I popped in. I looked, I, I and I looked at the screen. And I typed in, and I, I swear to you, like, I, I don't mean to be like entirely callous and rude and stuff like that. My comment, my comment to them is like, "Don't let it control your emotions. You couldn't, you can't control it. Move forward. Don't dwell too much on it." And that was my comment to people. And a lot of them are like, "Don't be so callous." I'm like, "I'm not trying to be." I'm just trying to make sure that nobody just like lets it consume them because that's the problem with these shootings is they let people people let them consume them. And well, you can see that people are still letting consume it today, but that's beside the point. But yeah, no, school shooting happened, and yeah, pretty fucked up. I, again. Yeah. Uh, funny. Th I was talking about talking to a friend about it um, like a day ago. And uh, I was like, yeah, that shit's messed up. And he's like, he's giving me the details about it because I wasn't watching it closely. And he's like, yeah, I follow. I saw the guy's YouTube channel that he the, about the shooter and whatever. It's like a fellow student, of course. And apparently uh, the writing was on the wall for a long time that this kid was going to fucking do this. And no one did anything mm -hmm. it, like it was all over the place. It was like, where where was any help for this? At all? Oh, you, Nowhere. Oh, you, yeah, you, great. Know what's, you know, what's really funny is the. the two organizations that are actually really to blame for this and a lot of people keep pulling at the nra but the nra is actually has like extremely strict gun laws about people with medical mental mental conditions but the people who yeah. aren't catching this are those of like the mental uh, mental like or like people who are like look after mental health health and stuff like that so big pharmacy and that's the thing is like you actually like look at big pharmacy to get like medical prescription or to like maintain a proper like like records of like people who have like mental dis uh, disabilities and stuff like that is really hard because of big pharmacy being the way they are in the United states uh, yeah but yeah and, and the other thing and the other thing is and, and this ties back to our uh, one of my opening comments to uh, one, of, one of my buddies today um being that uh uh that the other organization is currently so wrapped up with the myth of uh russian hackers um yeah mm -hmm. The Federal Bureau of Investigation didn't do their job, and that is like the big thing that people need to pick up on. Is it's not like the NRA. You're, the, I've actually read some of the gun laws down in the states, and they're like, no, no, they're actually like pretty strict. The thing is, is like for them to actually like they're they're pretty like on point. But the thing is, is nothing else is on point. Yeah, well, in fact, for even how, like, if you go back to the shooting thing, like, how the person got the guns in the first place was just through the parent, like, the parents had guns. And another uh, situation about shooting in general is, like, when people do these shootings or do shootings in general, they don't get them legitly in the first place. It's just, you know, some secondhand person gives it to them. They file off the f uh, serial number, get, like, you know, some sort of money or whatever out of that. And they just sell away the gun that way. Yep. So uh, what was it called? Straw, uh, straw shopping or something like that? It was straw. It, I forget. The, there was a term for it, but it's like that's another horrible issue of like people just giving straw. guns to whoever. Uh, it's it's secondhand dealing, and uh, I'm, I'm yeah. wondering if the term you're meaning is straw manning. I think that's what it is. Straw. Oh well, no, straw manning is like making an uh, like an argument that actually isn't there. Yeah. Or no. 
it's, it's something like that, but it's not straw manning. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, it was. Just, I know. No, I, I get. I get what you mean, Josh. I get what you mean. But no, I. Yeah. I, I, I I've 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 seen like apparently as someone who survived the school shooting, called out Trump on TV for not doing his job, and there are people have been like calling him like terrorist Trump, terrorist Trump, terrorist Trump. I'm like, no, you got you know what the big problem with you guys is is a lot of you guys really don't want to actually like acknowledge what the true issue is, acknowledge what the three big issues are, and like. I just, I'm just, oh man. Don't worry, they'll have a civil war and they'll be fixed afterwards. I don't think the civil, if the civil war happens, they're going to be extremely right and I don't think it's going to fix anything. <laughs> I, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I just don't think that like, and this is my issue is that like, it, the problem is so vast that like, if you, if you took the time to fix it and stuff like that, who... It wouldn't be the problem wouldn't just go away magically and stuff like that. And Alan's absolutely right. Like there are two major failing points that and Alan and are actually no. And I should clarify, Alan and Josh are both correct. Um, the FBI should have done something sooner. That should have been an actual case. Um, and like it's super easy to get a gun in the States. My personal opinion on the matter is, is that like you can ban sale of the AR-15 because that seems like the gun, but that won't, that will just give rise to another gun and another yeah. gun and another gun no, that, and another gun. That, that, that's, that's the problem is like, I actually have this argument with somebody who is like, well, no, you don't like, like you don't want, like, I actually like, like, no, your, your gun laws, you can have gun laws and stuff like that. The States mm -hmm. does have gun laws, but like. In some states, they're a bit less stringent, and in some other states, they're string. And I look, and he's like, "Well, okay, well, what are you going to do about criminals?" He's like, "You can't do anything about criminals. They're going to get the guns." The thing is, you want to keep, you want to control the the, the law-abiding citizens, so they're not dumb. And he was like, "Well, what do you mean?" He's like, "Well, okay, let's say I go up tomorrow and buy a gun. I have to go th up here in Canada. I have to go through like a long list of procedures. I have to go get a license. I have to get a hunting license. I have to make sure I have permission to have a rifle of a certain caliber and stuff like that. You have to go through all these licenses. And when you actually like look at people who are involved with like, and when you look at like people who are like down in the states, again, they go through the same kind of process. They have just have a few steps removed, but they also go through like firearm training that doesn't work. That doesn't finish a, that doesn't give you a license like it does does up here in canada and th th another big thing is that like i i see people who are constantly like pointing at like pictures of like white kids getting guns as christmas presents and stuff like that which i'm okay with as long as they're trained but you can tell that when you see pictures of kids getting these rifles and stuff like that to like from their father or from like their like their their parental figure who's going to teach them how to use it you can immediately notice two big things about every image you see online none of them have their hands near their uh their trigger when they have them and if they do they have them not on the trigger they already have the trigger training that they need and that's just something that is like really important but you look at like black kids and stuff like that and I'm, I'm i'm gonna be really generalizing i'm sorry guys i'm generalizing like nobody's business here broad paint strokes i know i'm i, I understand that hip hoppers when you look at that's, that, that's when, when you, even broader when you, when you look at like what, what essentially black kids with these guns a lot of them like don't look like they understand gun safety because they, they have these very dour, hard, straight faces that they don't understand. Like they they got this gun now, and they look like they they are going to they have the intent of using it. Whereas like these kids who just got rifles are looking like they're like, like yeah, I'm gonna get to go do something with my dad. Whereas these guys look like I'm gonna have to use this to defend myself. Is the is the difference in expressions, and it's just like oh my word, oh shit, oh you guys don't understand, and. I don't know. I'm 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 making mo I'm I might be making molehills out of out of ant hill or uh, mountains out of molehills, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm I, done. I, 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 yeah, I'm sorry. I, I I just think that like I just think that like the best solution right now would be, and this is a band aid to the situation, <laughs> would be say like okay, you can have a gun and stuff like that, and when you go to a firing range, you get ammunition. You get select amount of ammunition. When you get, when you're done, you put the gun on a table. Somebody opens up the guns, make sure there's no bullets in it. 
They take all of the ammunition from you. You walk through a metal detector. If they find ammunition on you, they revoke your license. Uh, completely. Uh, th- this th- is authoritarian no, no. as fuck, by the way. Uh, th- it's incredibly authoritarian. On top of that, uh, munitions don't, don't trigger metal detectors. I, okay, well, then you just sit there and you just say, like, okay, w- we have to check and make sure that you don't have gun- bullets on you and stuff like that. Because the truth of the matter is, is that no matter what you do... No matter what you do, you're never going to please 100% of everyone. Yeah, no, no, I, I get that. But, and stuff uh, like that. He, and this is a band-aid to the situation. My personal opinion on it is that, like, the best solution would have been to have a police officer with a handgun at that school. But you can't have a police officer at every fucking school with a handgun. And, like, you can sit there and want, like, everyone to be safe and stuff like that. But sitting there and saying that, like, we have to take away all guns and stuff like that is not the best solution. The best solution would be to sit there and say that you need to go through a mandatory like you need to go through a mandatory training period. You need to have your guns and a gun safe. You need to have stuff. This is basic shit. This isn't like something. But like the problem is, is that we have people right now who sit there and go like, it's and wanting to sit there and take away everything without realizing that by doing so, you're infringing on other people's rights. Yep. And my opinion on the matter is, is that no matter what happens, you're never going to get rid of this. Part of the problem is, is that you have a bunch of media outlets who will sit there and say like, like, oh, school shooting money, time to make money. And they glorify this bastard. Yep. You need to either put I was gonna laws s- in the fact where it says you are not allowed to share a killer's name. Unless yep. we say so. That would, not, that would actually probably do a lot. You're not allowed to glorify something, an act of terror, uh, a murder, mass shootings, because what it does is it puts that idea in somebody's head. Else's head. Somebody else's head. And it goes like, well, like, if I do this, I'll be famous and stuff like that. That's what these people want. That's not fucking that's not fucking hard to fucking see. There are documentaries where people go out and say, do not do this. It will create worse situations. And then they do it anyways. And it's like, ugh. It's upsetting. It's the same thing with the Black Panther thing, where a bunch of people sit there and just fucking jerk off because they can and they know it makes money instead of fucking sitting there and doing their fucking job. Yep. Anyways. Yep. I was going to say, they should, um, with your ammo idea, I mean... yeah, the super fascists and everything, but I think uh, authoritarian. Even, authoritarian. Those words. authoritarian. Sorry, 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 Fascist sorry. For what you anyway, have guns. Yeah, so it's like, oh, just take away the guns or whatever. But I'm like, yeah, but I'm like, I do the what the com- what one comedian said. Uh, what was it? Um, what was our, uh, Chris Rock? His joke was, uh, how about we just increase the price of ammunition to absurd degrees? Like a single bullet is grand. So in order to like full intent to use a bullet, you, you're spending like, I don't know, 10 grand for 10 bullets. So if you see someone dead on the street with bullets of them, you'd be like, that guy was murdered for six grand. Holy shit. That guy, people wanted him dead. Wow. Well, that, that, that's the thing. <laughs> that, that, that's the thing is like, I don't agree with that either because you know, like, yeah, the, I mean, it, you can easily get, well, that's the thing is about, about munitions. And this is what a lot of people don't understand about munitions is munitions are dirt cheap to make like yeah like you don't understand like the military has like huge stockpiles of just standard like rifle and small arms munitions dirt cheap they can get it done like oh we need uh we need um 600,000 rounds for next year okay we can do it and it'll cost us like maybe 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 a million bucks 10 pennies mm-hmm. yeah maybe a million bucks so that's and that's a drop in a, 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 in a bucket for the military. So it's like, yeah, we can just get small arms munitions done. It's this. It's when you start getting to bigger calibers that they're like, no, no, like a shell is like a thousand dollars, and they're like, mm, how many shells do we need? Well, we need about sixty thousand, uh, sixty thousand, maybe. Well, okay, can we cut that down to maybe thirty for the time being? It's like, yep, we can, we can, and then we can measure out from where our budget goes like that. But the thing is, is another thing that people don't realize about like firing ranges, like, and I've ha- I've had this conversation with somebody about like their firing range that they're that they've been to is that um 
a firing range, if you're going to a firing range and you're bringing a rifle, they check your rifle when you come in. They check your rifle when you go out. Or at least most fire ranges. That's most fire ranges. Uh, another big thing about them is that they, if 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 you come in and you don't have a permission to like do firing or anything like that, they don't let you show up and they like, yeah, um, you don't have the proper licenses and stuff like that. Why do you have this rifle? Please, um, well, take a seat. We'll be right back with you. And they bring the like, police get involved, and that's the thing is. It's, it's that's how well I think that's how that's how it should be work. It doesn't always go like that. I don't think, but like, yeah, I I I get what Jeff is saying. It's like, yeah, I have all these really authoritarian things, but like that's just an like that doesn't work though. It just really doesn't. No, a lot of bad, like 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 it, it just doesn't because like well I'm gonna get this munition so somewhere else then. Yeah. So you're saying there should be a more of a social? No. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, like I know where you're going. Understanding this. that people are different and weird, and then the accepting of that said thing, and then getting them yes. help. Yes, yes, yes. I'll agree with that one. <laughs> you, the way- and then maybe even teaching people in classes. Hey, people are fucking weird. And th- accept it. People, if you don't, go in jail. Well, that's like people a lot of the problems no, with modern day society. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Go in jail. Just go straight to jail. This podcast is going to be like flagged for racism and stuff like that. It's going to be great. So hate speech, racism. Uh, like, let's just get like the seven work. words out of the way. Fuck, tit, cunt, motherfucker, dick, Stay and tits. On! Anyways. Thank you for listening to the Black Mind Podcast, episode 137. Everything sucks. Everything sucks. You can listen to us every Thursday on blackmindgames.podbean.com. Sorry for the heady topics. If people don't care, I'm sorry about this, that. This, this, this week was a bullshit week, guys. We're sorry. This week could be best summarized as Just... a bunch of bullshit that we all looked at and went, bah! Just, just listen to Limp Biscuits breaking stuff. And do exactly what they say in that, in that song, and it'd be white as rain. Yeah. White as rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's, that's racist. Uh, it's racist, and also the song itself is horrible. <laughs> Have a. Thank you for listening to us on the blackmindgames.podbean.com. You can listen to us every Thursday on blackmindgames.podbean.com. And you can also subscribe to us on iTunes. Yep. Have a good night. Sorry. We're all terrible people. Good day. Yep. yep. Kill everyone. Fuck night. it. Night.